from Waffles Community Robotics and in this video we're going to look at the display block, the sound block, and the brick light block. So all of them are found in the green palette again and we have them right here display, sound, and brick status light. So let's pull out the display block first and plug her in. Uh, right now it's set to an image so over here if you click on the file name you can look at different um, images project images are the images that are already in your project uh, it's remembering this from looking at it earlier but you can see there's a whole bunch of different file folders there's eyes information objects and color sensors so it shows you what they look like just a whole bunch of random pictures. You can also make your own pictures using a picture editor and maybe we'll look at that later. But images aren't super useful to us I guess. Uh, right here display preview that, that's what you were seeing before. Uh, let's go to text. So there's two different options for text. There's grid and pixels. Grid uses a grid as it says. Uh, you can see the grid right here. Uh, what it does is you do it by row and column, X and Y. So X is uh, this way, Y or left and right, and Y is up and down. So we could go boom. Um, right here is what you change your text from. So you could say hi in bold capital letters. The other thing is you can get input once again from another block for more advanced programming but let's just start off with hi again uh, right here okay so once again column row same thing color uh, changes the color of the text so you can also have it white and that will have a back black background right here is your size so you can have small or normal bold or large. Uh, right here is whether or not you're clearing the screen when you enter this block. So every time you say clear screen, everything gets wiped off of the screen, and then whatever you tell it to put on, it in this block will be only the only thing shown. So if you want to display multiple things on uh, one screen, you don't want to clear the screen. Otherwise, everything that you put on there before will be gone. Uh, so the text by pixels is much like a computer uh, you don't have a grid but instead there's a certain pixel width or for a computer screen so you can see move it up and down you can actually and you can type in whatever once again same thing here same size change the color and you can do shapes so there are are different options for your shapes. Lines is also by pixels. So what it does is it tells you your X position first, so how far it is left and right of your first point, and how far up and down your first point is. So we can move the first point down. See the first point left and right. Uh, if we move this, there we go. And the first point you can tell it's because it's one. Uh, the second point obviously is this one, and you can do the same thing back and forth, up and down, yada yada yada. And you can also make it a white line. Same things for squares or circles and squares. They're similar. This is the center of the square, right here, or circle. This is your diameter, or your radius, actually. And you can say whether or not it's filled or not. Rectangle is the same thing. Your center point is controlled by your X and Y, and your width and length, and whether or not it's filled or not. And finally, just a point, which is just a point. And you can barely see it. It's right there. 
Okay, so, sound. Drag the sound block in. This is your volume, and this is wait for completion. So, you can either wait until the sound is done playing, which is wait for completion. Play once is just playing it once, and repeat will repeat it over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, stop is to stop playing a sound, so if you're repeating it over and over again, that'll stop it. Play tone using hertz, so frequency. You can see the different hertz for depending on what note you want to play, volume, and length that you're running the sound for, and wait for completion is the same. Notes like piano, so if you click here, you can click on whatever, whatever note you want. Same thing. Time, volume, you can change how long, how loud it is, and wait for completion. And finally, brick status light, which is kind of cool because the NXT doesn't have this. Uh, the brick lights up around the uh, buttons, as you can kind of see in that diagram. So you have on, off, and reset. So reset will put it to normal, just uh, green flashing light, or pulsing as they say. Off will turn all the lights off, and on will turn the lights on. You have three different colors, green, orange, and red. And this is pulsing, so whether or not it'll blink um, like it normally does when it's running, uh, true or false. Uh, false will mean it's solid color, true will mean it's pulsing in and out. And that's all, that's finishing up the green section. Uh, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel.